Good morning, fellow peeps and folks. I'm Allie, and today we are watching Red vs. Blue Season 12, Episodes 12, 13, and 14. Yeah, so we're continuing with the chorus arc. Um, last time we've had a bit of nice stuff to watch. Um, Church is back. Carolina's back. Um, We've had a twist um, about what is happening with, you know, Locus and Felix and all that stuff. Um, because they do kind of work for someone else who <clears throat> wants the planet as real estate. Fun. <clears throat> so, and, and Church and Carolina found that out, so they're basically back now um yeah uh my plan going forward um the rest of the season will probably be in four videos 12 to 14 15 to 17 and then 18 and 19 being separate um and after that will be the ruby volume 8 soundtrack the ost um, because I haven't ha yet uh, made the reaction to that one, reaction analysis, whatever I always do with the lyrics there. Um, so that will be next. And then I may or may not start with season 13, depending on what news we get about volume 9 of Ruby. We'll see. Um, it might still take some time and then I will start with season 13 but uh, if we get should we get any information of ruby volume 9 coming out a little bit earlier than i would be through with red versus blue season 12 and then the soundtrack um then i will see and do it differently but um right now this is kind of the order i'm going in so yep That's that's gonna be it then. Um, well, let us jump right in, I guess. This episode is called The Reunion, <clears throat> which makes sense since the people are gonna meet up again. And I'm happy for it because, I don't know, those scenes with Carolina and Church kind of made me feel like in the freelancer arc again and I I do love that arc still. So this uh, this last set of episodes we've had last time definitely made this chorus arc a lot more interesting. So I guess we'll see how this will turn out. So let's go in three, two, one, and go. <laughs> the music again. All right. How bad is it? Well, fortunately, he missed your femoral artery. That's good. No, sweetie. You had a knife inside of you. That's the opposite of good. Call me sweetie again, and there'll be a knife inside of you. <laughs> oh, wow. you're hostile. I'd love to psychoanalyze you. The leg, sure. please. Oh, yes. Be sure not to put any unnatural strain on those muscles. If you reopen the wound, it won't be pretty. Great. Yep. Hey, way to go, Carolina. Taken out by an oversized steak knife. Well, maybe if someone had remembered to account for hidden blades. Hey, I'm an AI. I'm not a babysitter. So, wow. There's a tiny ghost man here. Anybody care to introduce me? Ah, uh, that's Church. Yeah, he had yep. to sleep for a while, but I knew he would come back. Bullshit. <laughs> you were totally depressed. <laughs> what? No. No, Tucker. You're not remembering that right. Of course no, not. I would not do something like that. I would not spiral downward into an emotional state of evidence and try to fill with the remains of a mechanical pet just because I missed church. Nope. Stupid Tucker. <laughs> oh, forget you. I want to analyze him. Dr. Gray, this is Agent Carolina. She and I were operatives for Project Freelancer. As for church, he's an artificial intelligence fragment from the same organization, codenamed Epsilon. And to make a long story short, he kind of used to be the leader of Blue Team before I showed up. And tried to murder us? Yep. That's a misunderstanding. I know, saints. Don't gloss over the good parts. At least he didn't abandon us. Psychoanalysis for everyone! Wow. Oh boy. You're just having a field day. <laughs> a lot of things crammed inside me. Now hold up just a second. 
I want to know what in the name of Benedict Arnold Palmer is going on around here. We've been tricked. We've been backstabbed. Yep. And we've been quite possibly bamboozled. Yeah. yeah. So whenever that shit starts happening, it typically means you freelancers had something to do with it. Usually. Project Freelancer is gone. We all saw to that. Call of all space marines, stop corruption. That was the news article Locust brought General Doyle when he suggested we find you. I always thought the title was meant to describe your appearances, but no, I think I get what the writer was going for. What I'm saying okay. is that Project Freelancer isn't behind any of this. This is something else. Hmm, the plot thickens. Look, man, after we crashed, Carolina picked up a transmission. A couple of assholes were talking about selling cloaking equipment to another couple of assholes. Mm -hmm. There's no way we we're going to let that slide. So she decided to leave. I decided to go with her. We figured you guys would be fine, okay? Oh, yeah, totally. We were Yeah, totally they were not fine. fine. Just doing our thing, hanging out, drinking margaritas, getting captured by evil mercenaries. Great time. Oh, Whatever always man, happens. Tucker, I am so sorry. I mean it. My sincerest apologies. I had no idea that you had turned into such a whiny bitch while I was gone. And you still haven't grasped the concept of a hologram. Man, you're just having a really tough time today, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. Man, I thought we had issues. <laughs> It's nice to have you back. That's some quality programming. Maybe Church will turn out to be someone's long lost brother. I think we've had enough plot twists for one lifetime. And his real name is Horatio. Nope. All right, enough. Tucker, there's no way they could have known all this would happen. Right now, we need to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Even if Epsilon is being a prick. Oh, don't you start to. We started investigating. And it didn't take long for us to realize that something was very wrong with this planet. Yeah. Abandoned cities, soldiers everywhere. We kept to the shadows and gathered as much intel as we could. And what we found was worse than I had anticipated. How so? This third faction on Chorus, these space pirates, have managed to acquire freelancer equipment and are manufacturing more advanced versions of Oops. it on a mass scale versions that don't require the assistance of an AI. But how is that possible? I thought the UNSC right. confiscated everything Project Freelancer ever created. They did, but then they put those creations on a ship, and that ship crashed here. Wait, And what? then they got right. it. Don't you think it's a little weird that our transport vessel also happened to be carrying tons of weapons and vehicles, and that it just so happened to magically crash on a planet in need of those kinds of things? What exactly are you suggesting? Um, Someone they... wanted our yeah. ship to crash. They wanted it, definitely. So, what you're saying is, there's no way any of us could be responsible for the crash. I, well, yes. <laughs> Why do you ask? Because... Sir, the we is there for authorized personnel only. What were you doing in there? Oh, because we ahead, always so find out really that some people did browser. something wrong. I went ahead and updated it for you. Now it's the one NASA uses. <laughs> no need to thank me. Those are the ship's navigation systems. You can't just update that stuff. <laughs> Tell me about it. Once I started with the browser, I couldn't stop myself from changing the graphics card too. You what? And the motherboard and the fan. And oh, hey, by the way, uh, I'm glad you're here. How do you feel about acrylic window panels? I. The answer is you love them. Sure. No reason. Uh, you guys are missing the point. Someone we just find out sure more and more about those people. <laughs> right here to this tiny rock in the middle of space. These guys are just some, just some asshole raiders and mercenaries. They're organized, and they've managed to work their way into our own forces. In short, yep. we have no idea who we can trust until we find the people behind all of this. Whoa. Okay, hold up. Aren't we all forgetting something here? No. Oh. Yesterday was Mother's Day. There are two armies that are ready to blow each other's brains out. Yeah, you should deal feelings. with that. We've got to tell them they're being used. That's not going to be easy. What do you mean? You've got those teleporter cubes. That's how we got here, right? Let's just zap ourselves over to the New Republic. Tucker, we've only got a few of those things left. They're kind of tricky to use. They put an enormous strain on the physical body, which, by the way, all of you have. <laughs> That's not even the main problem, though. Those two mercenaries are thorough. They've got some sort of radio jammer set up that only allow broadcasting on certain frequencies. And they monitor all other open channels. Well, we tried to contact you when we overheard your radio transmission to Donut from the crash site. Not only did we fail, but Locust managed to trace the call back to this hideout. We were lucky he missed us, and I doubt we'll have luck on our side again. Yeah, and if they've gone through well, all the trouble just to keep their radios quiet, I can guarantee you they're not going to let you guys within a mile of Doyle or Kimball. If they're not already by their side, then their cloaked space buddies definitely are. We need more intel. 
Hmm. We need the upper hand on these guys before we but, can even think about taking them on again. But yeah, you, make matters worse, you still need to have much time. try For to find sure. a way to tell them, though. We managed to eavesdrop on a few conversations between the mercenaries and someone calling themselves Control. They've got plans and protocols for just about everything. Well, damn. I'm willing to bet they've got one for this. Meaning Someone's prepared. Anyway, eleven people on this planet know what's really going on. And until those eleven people are tracked down and killed, I'm talking about you guys, by the way, there's really mm -hmm. only one thing these space pirates can do. And that's to finish what they started. Hmm. Yeah. Fun. Oh, 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 wonderful. Duped by a freelancer posing as one of our own men. Can you taste the irony in that? If you had kept your ego under control, they'd be dead by now. Okay, no, we don't have the facts to prove that, all right? So let's not, you know, start throwing blame around or anything, okay? Mm -hmm. Please, thank you, you're welcome. Stop. Yeah, they still don't like each other. Though I'm inclined to further chastise you for your most recent failure, I suggest we focus on the opportunity at hand. And exactly which opportunity is that? The reds and blues are missing. It won't be long before my scout team finds them. Hmm. Perhaps. But all that truly matters is that you prevent them from making contact with their armies. We yeah. Snipers shadowing Keep them the away. As we speak. Marvelous. Then you are to transport back to your respective armies and report the deaths of the reds and blues. Wow. They will become the martyrs needed to push these people towards one. Final confrontation. Well, that's. Do I make myself clear? That's a good strategy, but Crystal. damn. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It is a good strategy to just tell them, yeah, they were killed. And, you know, your enemies killed them, so. Fun, right? Just want to look at it. That's what the UNSC guy said about the Griff shot, and I never saw it again. The what? The what? Meta's weapon. Griff kept it as a trophy until the UNSC confiscated it. Until then, I thought I was the only one man enough around here to cry, but Griff proved me wrong. Ah, All right. It had sentimental value. Damn it, Griff! Hand over that laser this instant! You can't tell me what to do. I outrank you again. What the bur? <laughs> well, let's see. You break the end of my shotgun. Uh, done. Oh no! Fucking space laser, bitch. Yeah, this is taking. Hey, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> wow. Okay. Just possessing. Right, yeah, here you go. Thanks. Ugh, why is this so greasy? You think that's bad? Imagine how I feel right now. Being inside this body is like trying to breathe through a trash can. Ugh. God damn it, I hate that. Damn. Fascinating. <laughs> An AI with the ability to jump from soldier to soldier? Tell me, does he travel via your neural implants or is it something more subtle? Implants. All freelancer personnel have them. I thought only the Alpha could do that. Yeah, just another trick I picked up from one of my old memory buddies. God, it gives me a headache though. Come on. Yeah. Let's dismantle this thing and see what we can learn. Hey, look, He's kind of the culmination. Done, you can have it back in one not, piece. not entirely put together, Probably. but at least. Oh, oh. You mind if I tag along? Yeah. Advanced a collection. <laughs> my fifth favorite hobby. Right behind destroying my enemies, but just ahead of karaoke. No, thanks. Uh, yeah, no. I think Epsilon and I have it handled. Why don't you catch up for a while? You've all been through a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I'd stick around for the reunion, but uh, some of you guys still seem pretty pissed at me, so... I'm just yeah. waiting for that to settle. All right. So, how have you guys been? Shut up. Same old, same old, huh? That's cool. Well, I don't want to intrude on such a sweet moment of reconnection. Mm -hmm. Fine with me. I was being polite. I'm actually far more interested in Fortin technology. Bye! Okay, bye. All right. Bye, I guess. Nice. Right? I think she has a few screws loose. Just oh, a I few. I could always help her out with that. Bow, chicka, bow. Right. Oh, come on, dude. It's been ages. Ducker. Oh, I, I, I thought you got, got past that. <laughs> probably has some screws loose also. Oh, you know what? I think I'm just going to go take a peek at that laser thingy after all. I'm just dying to see it. I'm, uh, I mean, uh, it's just killing me not to, uh... Oh. Mm -hmm. Nope. Got nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Lizzo. They're all gonna go. Yeah, it's great. 
church is back, you're back. It's like all of us made it back safe and down in one piece. No problem. Uh, caboose. Alive. A caboose. Uh, I'm not really sure how to tell you this without both confusing you and breaking your disturbingly fragile heart. I have okay. an emotional time bomb! Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Caboose, I'm afraid this is all that's left of Freckles. It's his brain, sort of. At Freckles? least something? You're... You're... You're so tiny now! Oh, what? I mean, you can see that this is now animation. So you're okay then? Ah, watch this! It's great. Now he can fit in my pocket, and I don't have to worry about him trying to kill you anymore. At least something. I guess that is sort of better. Thanks for looking after Franco's watch. Yeah, you you can definitely see Literally, when they change between right, what they do in right the game on. and what is entirely animated. Good to have you back, Agent Washington. I'm looking forward to, you know, a time you when you off, can't, you, in the ground. And the moment's passed. you know, either you can't see the difference anymore you or they jump apart. into full what animation. I don't know. How did he manage to get the laser back? He's deceptively heavy. Yave gorda, así que eso he de crear algo. Chris, for the last time, put the laser. Wow. Uh, okay. Look, that was an accident. I'm going to break your fingers now. Uh, well done. Me. Where did you find that rifle? Hey, I picked it up after Carolina dropped it at the snow base. Are you even familiar with the International Dibs Protocol? The pirates have been manufacturing these along with the armor enhancements. They've got facilities scattered around the planet. So well done. You're sure it's man-made. I'm positive why. Well, for starters, it isn't using human technology. It just fired some kind of modified plasma energy. Very deadly. And pretty. Plasma? Alien energy source. I've seen it countless times in archaeological right. digs. Wait, I thought you were a surgeon. I have an IQ of 240. A prodigy can only cut people open so many times before she needs to find a hobby. Jesus. Well, damn. I That's a high IQ. Thank you very much. Hey, didn't Felix say that he was paid in alien tech? I believe he said he was paid in babies. The fuck? Don't ask. He was definitely carrying around an old plasma rifle, but I thought he said it was broken. It's likely it was. The Federal Army arranged a similar deal with Locus. They figured trading useless antiques for military assistance was a good deal. So hmm. the Mercs stock up on alien technology yeah. and hand it over to the pirates for reverse engineering. Giving them a new kind of weapon. Yep. Human half alien. And every single one of them pointed at us. Woohoo. Do you have anything else like this? What about the future cubes? The what? Future cubes! The cubes of the future! Sure. They look kind of like the laser gun, right? That's your deductive reasoning. They're related because they're both orange and glowing. Yes. No? So, if I heated your armor to a thousand degrees, would you think you're related to Fahrenheit or Celsius? Oh, come on! There's clearly a resemblance. <laughs> oh, I think he's course. talking about Celsius. Like Fahrenheit wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> or Caboose in the Pacific Ocean. Or Lopez and the Dingleberry. Okay, I get it. Hey, Griff, let me ask you a question. You ever get your sister confused with mustard? You know, since they're both yellow and cheap. Yeah, nice try. Well done. Oh, hologram, by the way. Epsilon, he's right. Yeah, I know. I just wanted in on the action. Both types of equipment seem to utilize some form of alien engineering. Mm hmm But how did you know what the teleporters look like? Because we had them in the canyon. Duh. Wait. Did? Yeah, they were awesome. We found them while we were sneaking aboard our ship. Yeah, and right. To destroy the blues. I mean, the blues robot. May he rest in peace. Which reminds me, how did you guys teleport with those things? We can only figure out how to transport random junk. Hmm. Hey, Doc, who's that teletransportado, Doc? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's right. We did use them to defeat Dos Point Oh. Oh, poor El Amor de Dios. <laughs> okay, everybody, shut up. Listen. If the same people making weapons on well, had it's good to have you back in normal Lopez, though. Might be able to find out who they are. How? A manifest? Yep. Hmm. That's right. A transport ship that size would need to keep track of all its cargo. Yeah. So if we find the manifest, we find out who supplied the teleportation grenades. So you think a bunch of evil bad guys working outside of the law are going to worry about paperwork? What? You got any better ideas? Well, I mean, <sighs> some of them do. No. Then we have our objective. Half of us will travel back to the canyon and search Crash Site Bravo for the manifest. Why split up? We 
because the rest of us will be searching the other half of the ship at crash site alpha okay so because it because it fell apart <laughs> but yeah we'll see if we can find anything useful Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a longer one because it's three episodes, even though they're all like six to eight minutes long. Want? Just wanted to see how you were doing. How am I doing? How do you think I'm doing? I put all of our hope into the hands of a bunch of strangers and they run off and get themselves killed. It was a leap of faith. Sometimes you fall. Well, we're falling fast. I believed in them. They believed in us. What are you talking about? They left us. Kimball, they accomplished their mission. They actually managed to rescue their friends and they were going to come back. I saw it myself. They wanted to end this war. They wanted peace mm. for Chorus. Having him play the martyr card there. If you go back up there and you tell those men that their heroes died fighting for them, then you can turn this tragedy into something more. Turn it into fuel for one last fire. Felix, they're mourning. When they should be fighting. Vanessa, they shouldn't. How many people have we lost at this point? Do you think you'd even count? The only thing different about these soldiers is that they inspired us. And I'm telling you, they can still inspire us even though they're gone. I was waiting to tell you. I recovered some data from the compound. The feds are all gathering in the capital this week. And I mean all of them. Some sort of rally or hmm. something. I don't have all the details, but it sounds like they're getting ready for one last push. Yep. I guess without the reds and blues, they think they can finally put an end to us. But I think we need to hit them first. You want to hmm. storm Armonia? That's insane. I want all of us to do it. Think <sighs> one mission sure. and everything. We may never have another chance like this. You shouldn't do that. Tucker, the same thing. You've got an army up there that wants to avenge their heroes. I say it's time you let them. Yeah, she she's okay, gonna listen okay. because she doesn't this have the perspective she needs no, there. It will work. It has to. Now there's the leader I know. Never give up, right? Right. Transfer that data over to my personal computer. Then let's get a meeting together in the war room. You got it, boss. And Felix? Thank you. <laughs> For everything. Yeah, because that's I'm great. My job. We're 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 very happy about this. Alright. Each team We're not. has two teleportation grenades. <laughs> one to transport you there and one to get you back. Okay. The first priority is obtaining the manifest. Mm -hmm. But while we're in, we should also search for additional supplies. Teleporters, weaponry, anything that could help. I don't expect there to be a hostile presence at Bravo, but be careful nonetheless. Don't get shot. Got it. Alpha's another story. We've acquired its coordinates for teleportation, but never actually investigated the okay. area. From what we've gathered, it's a massive hotspot for pirate activity. I'd understand if you don't want to join us. Given the situation, I'd say you need all the help you can get. Yeah. Count us in. L yeah. Let Wash come. Researcher <laughs> be disappointed if I didn't come also, so... Dr. Gray, you stay here and keep an eye on things while we're gone. Wonderful. I'll prepare a meal out of the surrounding fungi and vegetation for your return. Sure. I don't. See you when we get back? Just don't get captured. The last thing we need is another fucking rescue mission. Amen. Okay, people. <laughs> The mission starts now. All right. Let's see. Absalon. Motion tracker says we're clear. Clear? What did I stutter? And you're sure we're in the right place? Carolina? I think we're in the right place. Yep. That looks about right. So we've split up into reds and blues again. Uh, Interesting since, you know, now that they're not, you know, working big, against each other, no but actually with crap. each other, I couldn't walk two feet without stepping in your garbage. Oh, they they on, still guys. find a way to the split them up. Me and Princess Bubblegum have got an entire ship to search. So far, we ain't found Deadly Squad. The least you can do is quit jamming up the radio with your darn Peloton. Sure. You got that? I don't know if you're going to find Only anything, though. Well, you good for nothing, little? Nice. You know, Simmons, I can't help but notice a severe lack of ass kissing ever since we found Search. Ah, hmm. uh, well, we've all been kind of busy with the whole genocide prevention thing. 
You know how it goes. Jesus, ustedes, <laughs> Hassan, mi boy Diego. <laughs> yeah, Lopez is a mood. Maybe being in charge of those rebel guys. Still, he always hey, was and will always will be. Sarge, but I couldn't help but overhear what you just said about guys rubbing off. What do you mean? We were terrible leaders. Well, yeah. But you gotta admit, they made you feel pretty important. Yeah. yeah. I guess. You Wait, liked it. Lopez? I don't know, probably off doing the actual mission or something. Hola chicos, on contra cuerpo, dos buenos, que idiota. Yep. I mean, this is bullshit. if this dos bueno ha wouldn't have been, you and wouldn't have a body right now, so be happy about that at least, that right? <laughs> if you don't keep your voice down, we'll never find out. Whatever, church said the place is deserted. Still, it gives me the creeps. Yeah. And I'm starting to think we might not have been the only ones to crash on this planet. Makes sense. Oh, what was your first clue? Bye, boys, a spaceship. Over here. Think this will work? All right. Well, it's still online, so there's that at least. That's good. The infrastructure's a mess, though. It's... Oh, damn. Hold on a second. Seriously? Church couldn't find the zoom on the sniper rifle. What makes you think he can just plug in and find... All right, well, got it. yeah. Sorry, Tucker. What were you saying? Don't be a show-off. He's an AI. Uh oh. So, you know, digital stuff should work. Not very. Keep quiet. Should Right. Fuck that. Okay, give me a drive. Now. Wait, wow. what's happening? It's in. Transfer data. Dude! Yeah, uh, how do I say this? <clears throat> they know we're here and they're coming to kill us. Fun! <laughs> yeah, one of those days, am I right? Yeah, just just one of those am days. Alright, guys. Say one of those days. Yeah. 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 Sure. All right. Um, I think you're surrounded. How did they find us? I don't know. How much time left on that transfer? Hard to say. This computer is beyond fucked. I'm doing what I can. Don't worry. We can wait. We can. Watch your right. Can we though? Dude, we gotta go. Hold them off for a few more seconds. Behind us! Yeah, they do have the technology. Oh, come on! Come on, that's a teenage church! Hold on! Man, fuck this! Wait! Tucker! Get us out of here! Damn it! Well. So? How did it go? I don't think that, that was a good idea. Church? Me? We are sitting ducks out there! Tucker. What? What? Oh, we almost had it! We only needed a few more seconds! You don't know that! What the f- yes, She I does! Newsflash! I was there, and by the way, I made out of numbers! Why can't you just trust me? What? Manifest! Hot and ready to go! <laughs> no need to thank us. But don't let that discourage you if you want to. At least the Reds managed to bring something back. All we got was a wait, caboose! Hi! That's me! Uh, oh my god! Yeah, no. No. Where the hell did he come from? He must have teleported back with us. My life just flashed before my eyes! Well damn. Ah, oh, let's do that again! Oh, my leg! Out of the yeah. way, doctor coming through. You you reopened the oh, wound probably. Well, that is a lot of blood. Somebody restrain this guy. I've got just the handcuffs for the job. I've been saving them for a special occasion. Um, Tucker, are you okay? <laughs> I mean, he's probably feeling bad. <laughs> because honestly, yeah, just a few more seconds and it should have been fine. <laughs> Episodes 12, 13, and 14, everybody. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say to this. It's just... Things are happening and... This talk between Felix and Kimball was just, I don't know, it was frustrating and like, I wanted to feel like it was sweet, but it wasn't because we know. <laughs> uh, poor girl. She's just being manipulated and I guess Locus is doing pretty much the same on the other side. So, yay. Other than that, um, we did search the sites and 
we're found out. And, well, Tucker, you're... You couldn't wait, and he might just give himself crap about everything that happened after that, too, you know. You know, having someone kind of get the jump on Caboose and Carolina now ruining her leg again. Fun. Um, we'll see how that will turn out. Um, but yeah. Fun. They now have a captive. Maybe they'll get some information. Maybe, maybe not. Other than that, yeah. Let's hope that they can solve this problem before those two sides battle each other again. Right? <laughs> but yeah, uh, I guess that's gonna be it. So on this note, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!